TQ has now unveiled a brand new mid-drive motor. The TQ HPR60 builds on the well-known HPR50 motor, however it does in fact have a serious performance upgrade compared to its previous version. As a result, the compact HPR60 mid-drive motor now delivers 60 newton meters of peak torque and supports you with up to 350 watts. So this represents an increase of respectively 20% compared to the HPR50. Despite the upgrade to make it more powerful, further work has been done to reduce the noise emission. In other words, the HPR60 is even quieter than the HPR50 already was, which of course results in an even more pleasant and natural riding experience. In addition, further improvements have been made to efficiency under cooling, which now enables the HPR60 to provide you with the maximum power of 350 watts over a longer period of time. With this, TQ continues to work on maintaining its leading position in terms of power to weight ratio, or rather on getting the most out of their motors. With the HPR60, they are further expanding their leading position in that particular power to weight ratio in the industry because the motor itself weighs just 2 kilos or even a little less and the entire motor system including the battery comes to just 3.5 kilos. This gives them the best weight to power ratio currently available on the market today. The HPR60 supports you with the well-known familiar 3 ride modes Eco, Mid and High. What's also interesting about the HPR60 is that even at low cadences of 50 to 60 revolutions per minute, the full power of 350 watts is made available to you. In addition to the new motor, TQ is also presenting two new battery variants for the Intube version, a lightweight compact 290 watt hour battery and a larger 580 watt hour battery. To be honest, this one is probably not entirely new because last year it was already used exclusively in the Trek Slash, so it's more of a returning feature than a brand new one as you might remember from previous models. It should be mentioned that we even made a video about it for you to check out if you want to know more about this battery. In addition to these two new batteries, the well-known 360 watt hour battery is still also available. So now manufacturers have a wide range of three different batteries they can use, depending on whether they want to build a bike with minimal weight or maximum range. Additionally, you of course have the option to equip all three battery variants with the 160 watt hour range extender. With that, when combined with the 580 watt hour battery, you can reach a solid 740 watt hours of maximum capacity, which is absolutely competitive. In which areas of use do we see the TQ HPR60? We naturally see it more in the sporty segment, meaning in light electric mountain bikes or in the electric road bike and e-gravel sectors. That's where it really plays to its strengths with its lightness and harmonious support. And of course, it can also be seamlessly integrated by manufacturers. So the main focus will certainly continue to be there. That being said, some manufacturers like Bergamont or Trek are also installing it in trekking bikes, so if you're looking for something sporty, whether in the city or for touring, you'll definitely find something suitable there as well. Now of course with the 60 Newton meters, there is quite a bit of power, but one should not be misled. It is still a minimal assist motor. In other words, for regular touring cyclists and moderately trained electric cyclists, it is certainly a viable option, especially on flat terrain and light off-road conditions, to go with this motor. For someone who tends to ride in high mountain regions, with lots of climbs and long tours, they really need to be in good shape if they choose a bike with the TQ HPR60 motor. That is something you need to be aware of when deciding on a motor or bike like this. Right now, the TQ system is actively used by 16 different brands. As I just mentioned, the system is used in a wide variety of models, and in the future, several more are expected to be added. Of course, you'll find out which ones exactly here on our channel or on our blog, so feel free to check it out and stay tuned. You're also welcome to share your thoughts on the HPR60 in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like.